Shirley Jones, renowned for her Academy Award winning performance in Elmer Gantry and later becoming the beloved matriarch of the Partridge family on television, was born on March 31, 1934, in the charming town of Smithton, Pennsylvania. Her parents were Paul Jones, a brewery owner, and Marjorie Williams Jones. Shirley was their only child, and her journey to fame was destined to unfold from this small town beginning. From a young age, Shirley's vocal talents shone like a beacon, catching the attention of her family and friends. At the tender age of five, she began to exhibit her remarkable singing prowess. Recognizing her potential, she received early vocal training from the esteemed Pittsburgh vocal coach, Ken Welch. As Shirley grew older, her passion for performing flourished. During her time at South Huntingdon High School, she became a fixture in numerous school productions, captivating audiences with her natural talent and charisma. Her star quality continued to shine when she won a prestigious singing contest at the state level. With her graduation in 1952, Shirley's dreams started to take flight. She was crowned as Miss Pittsburgh, which further fueled her ambition. Though she missed the title of Miss Pennsylvania by a hair, her determination to succeed remained unyielding. Fueling her aspirations, Shirley pursued a course in drama at the renowned Pittsburgh Playhouse. There, she honed her acting skills and discovered her flair for the stage. Her talent earned her roles in captivating productions such as Lady in the Dark and Call Me Madam with the Pittsburgh Civic Light Opera. In the summer of 1953, a young and vibrant Shirley Jones embarked on a vacation to New York City before her enrollment at Centenary Junior College that fall. Little did she know that destiny had a grand plan in store for her. Her vocal coach, Ken Welch, seized the opportunity and arranged an audition with the esteemed agent, Gus Shermer. Shermer, astounded by Shirley's remarkable talent, wasted no time and organized an audition for her with a casting director working for the renowned duo of Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein II. The casting director was equally enchanted by Shirley's performance, and the fateful moment would change her life forever. As a testament to her prodigious abilities, Shirley Jones was offered a remarkable seven-year contract with the illustrious Broadway team. Not only did she secure a place in their roster, but she was also provided with extensive vocal and acting lessons to further enhance her skills. Her journey commenced with a role in the chorus of the long-running hit musical South Pacific, showcasing her undeniable potential. Her talent continued to flourish, and she soon landed a small part in Me and Juliet. However, Shirley's star power shone brightly, and she quickly ascended to the starring role when the show embarked on an exciting tour. In an astonishing turn of events, less than a year after her first audition, Shirley Jones had the chance to test for the role of Laurie, the wholesome farm girl, in the film adaptation of Rodgers and Hammerstein's timeless classic, Oklahoma. Her magnetic presence and captivating portrayal won hearts, solidifying her place as Laurie opposite Gordon McRae's Curly. Critics like Bosley Crowther couldn't help but praise her, describing her as so full of beauty, sweetness, and spirits that a better Laurie cannot be dreamed. Her soaring success did not end there. Shirley Jones was destined for greatness, and she was chosen to star as Julie in the follow-up musical film Carousel, 1956. Emerging as a true star, Shirley Jones found herself once again sharing the silver screen with Gordon McRae, stepping into the role of Billy Bigelow in the musical Carousel after Frank Sinatra departs from the production. The consecutive successes of these musical ventures launched her into the realm of stardom. Her radiant presence and remarkable talent caught the attention of Life magazine, earning her a coveted spot on the cover, February 6, 1956, dubbing her a show business phenomenon. The world was now her stage, and Shirley embarked on a journey that took her to Paris and Rome, where she became part of a stage tour of Oklahoma on behalf of the U.S. State Department delighting audiences on an international scale. Upon returning to the United States, Shirley Jones graced the stage in Cambridge, Massachusetts, starring in a production of The Beggar's Opera. It was during this time that she crossed paths with the talented actor-singer Jack Cassidy. Their connection was undeniable, 
and on August 5, 1956, they exchanged vows, beginning a new chapter in her personal life. Television soon beckoned, and Shirley made notable appearances on the small screen. One of her memorable portrayals was that of an alcoholic in the episode The Big Slide of the series Playhouse 90. In her third film venture, April Love, 1957, Shirley was once again cast as the wholesome farm girl, but this time her character sought to reform a juvenile delinquent played by Pat Boone. Amidst her blossoming career, Shirley Jones embraced motherhood, welcoming her son Sean Cassidy into the world in 1958. As time passed, Shirley felt a desire to break away from her pristine image, seeking new avenues to express her talents. Alongside her husband, she embarked on a thrilling nightclub tour, captivating audiences with her dynamic performances. With her enchanting voice, Shirley and Jack Cassidy recorded several LP albums of show tunes for Columbia, including a studio cast version of the beloved musical Brigadoon. Following the lukewarm reception of her next two films, Shirley Jones found herself cast in an unexpected endearing role as the prostitute Lulu Baines in Elmer Gantry, 1960. The opportunity came through the efforts of her co-star, the talented Burt Lancaster, who portrayed the cunning evangelist of the film's title. This challenging role became a turning point in Shirley's career, earning her critical acclaim and ultimately the prestigious Best Supporting Actress Academy Award. However, the success of Elmer Gantry brought with it a dilemma for Shirley. She was eager to shed her image as a perpetual ingenue with a sweet disposition and demure appearance. In her own words, she confided to Sidney Skolsky, I'm sick of portraying ingenues with sunny dispositions, high necklines, and puff sleeves who are girlishly aggressive about happiness being just around the corner. She yearned to break away from the stereotype and show the world her versatility beyond the wholesome image she had become associated with. But despite her yearning for change, Shirley found herself once again embodying sweetness and innocence in her role as Marion, the kind-hearted small-town librarian who falls in love with a con man, played by Robert Preston, in the highly successful musical The Music Man, 1962. The film resonated with audiences, reaffirming her affinity for playing endearing characters. As the 1960s progressed, Shirley Jones faced some challenges as her popularity as a film star experienced a decline. A television series she starred in in 1962 did not find success. However, she continued to explore other avenues of performance. In 1968, alongside her husband Jack Cassidy, she had a moderate run on Broadway in the musical Maggie Flynn. A year later, her performance in the made-for-television movie Silence Night, Lonely Night earned her an Emmy nomination, showcasing her enduring talent and versatility in the realm of television. The turning point in Shirley Jones's career came in 1970 when she soared to new heights with the wildly popular television series The Partridge Family. The show, a heartwarming comedy, based on a true story, revolved around a widowed mother who forms a successful singing act with her children. Over its four-season run, the series garnered immense love from audiences, and the cast, including Shirley, released several hit single records and albums that added to their success. During the mid-1970s, Shirley's personal life saw changes as she divorced Jack Cassidy. However, she found love again and married the comic Marty Ingalls in 1977. The couple not only shared a beautiful relationship, but also collaborated on lucrative business ventures. Shirley continued to make her mark in the entertainment industry. She appeared in the television series Shirley and took on diverse roles in a trio of feature films, including a western, The Cheyenne Social Club, 1970, a disaster sequel, Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, 1979, and Tank, 1984, which marked her final film. In 1988, Shirley Jones and Marty Ingalls received the National Leukemia Council's inaugural Gift of Life Award for their incredible 15 years of volunteer work in battling the disease. That same year, 
Shirley's talents graced the PBS special in Performance at the White House, and she co-hosted the TV special Christmas in D.C. alongside opera star Kathleen Battle. Additionally, she entertained audiences with her recurring role as Kitty Noland in the comedy television series The Slap Maxwell Story. From 1996, Shirley embarked on a nationwide tour in J-Cast Productions' Love Letters, performing alongside entertainer and humorist Marty Engels, her beloved late husband. The year 2006 brought accolades as Shirley earned an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Miniseries or Movie for her role as Aunt Batty in Hidden Places. Her talent was further recognized in 2010 when she received another Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series for her portrayal of Lola Zellman on The Cleaner. Thanks for watching and goodbye. And goodbye.